everyone. Happy Monday, first of the week. I'm sure you were expecting to see Rachel here. Um, we have, <clears throat> she's not having the baby. No. That would have been a fun joke though. No. You should, well, would it have been? I don't know if it would have sent somebody into a tailspin or something. They could have. I'm could still have. here. They're very invested, which I love. I love it too. Yes. Anyway, welcome. Um, I'm going to do this video today. This is a really fun, and you've not even seen a picture of it because I haven't done my job and made a thumbnail. Um, that's so, listen, But we were making fine. Easter egg, or Easter basket tags today. Very excited. Really quickly, if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here with Oak and Lamb. Miss Rachel is also an owner and craft educator here, and you hear her voice. And today we have a fun guest who will be here for the next little bit um, on Mondays and Wednesdays with us. Her name is Allie. Does, is that microphone on? I don't even know if she wants to say hi. She can, she can definitely maybe say hi. We'll peep, maybe we can talk her into peeping on here yeah, hey. eventually. Maybe yeah. not today, maybe eventually. Um, when she's comfortable. Yes. When she's comfortable. Anyway, she might be comfortable right now. You never know. Uh, she may be. Um, Allie is shadowing here at Oak and Lamb. She's getting her craft, is it craft, Allie? Some art, art. art. Oh. She's a homeschooler and we're going to be teaching her some cricketing stuff for an art um, credit. And listen guys, I know how you feel about homeschoolers. She is like a legit one. Me, however, you know, you can still make fun of me. She gets it. She's got a good sense of humor, but she's, she's, a, she's a good homeschooler, okay? She's a really good student. So funny. <laughs> um, anyway, and so after the live, I'm going to teach her how to print and cut. So I'm really excited about that. She just got a Cricut in December for Christmas. So we're going to get to teach her all kinds of super fun stuff. Um, I hope I can make this on the air too, is what a member said or a friend said. I didn't like, catch it. It scrolled by. You cannot, you can make one of these on the ear tube. Um, you can make this cut file in a couple of different ways. We're actually looking at this is one cut file that was released on Monday. This is another cut file that was released on Monday. Um, the cool thing about cut files is that they can be used in so many different ways. You can use them with sublimation printers. You don't even need a die cut machine. You can use them with your Cricut. You can use them with laser cutters, not just Glowforge, the X1, all different laser cutters or printers, whatever you want to call them. Um, and you can cut them out of acrylic. You can cut them out of wood. You can cut them out of craft board, which you can cut with your air two. You can cut them out of chipboard, which you do need to make your three for. Um, basswood, balsa wood, all of those soft woods that you can cut with your maker, you could do this. And then I've also cut one out of cardstock, which of course you can also use your Explore series machines or your Joy to create. So I'm gonna be showing a couple of different things. Um, I'll probably do me think about this. We'll probably do the acrylic Glowforge one first. I've already pre-cut it because you all have seen us cut before. If not, we do have some videos um, for, for some really simple projects. So check those out. Um, is Kat here today? I haven't seen her comment. I haven't. Yeah, she's here. Okay. So Kat just got her Glowforge over the weekend. She set it up on Saturday. She had it delivered. Did you see she got like a up. stuffed one? No, she got I didn't a little see it. Stuffy I didn't glow see it. Um, it's so cute. Anyway, and has already made some absolutely amazing projects. Kat, what's the very first thing you made? Well, they made the little thing out of the gate, the little measuring tool thing. <gasps> okay. Yeah, but really quickly she made, I don't think it was this one, I think it was the full lace bunny um, for her mom, who then requested Adorable. a stand for it. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Already yes. making requests, I see. Also, she did a, I didn't see the finished project, but she had started a picture of Ernie. They were doing like an engraved picture of Ernie. Oh. Um, I'm trying to remember what else. Anyway, so she's really enjoying it. And I love um, I love to see all the creativity and different things that our members are doing. So And Becca, Miss <clears throat> Penny says, can I paint cricket veneer? You can. You have to be careful. If it gets too wet, it will curl. It's also it's because it's so thin. Yes. Cricket veneer is incredibly yeah. thin. Yeah. I it will curl. So if you paint it, then the problem is like to let it dry, you would need to put something on it. If it's wet, I'm trying to think. I haven't. Like parchment paper and then something maybe, maybe on it. Maybe, but then or it would smear. Maybe nuke it with a, with a heat gun just to get like a top layer dry and throw something on or it. Or just do some really, really thin paint coats. Yeah. 
that way. You could spray some Loctite and glitter it. Yeah. You could glitter yeah. it. Yeah. But I Great think question, usually though. I would keep it mm -hmm. wood looking. Probably. Um, Shay is here today. Hi, Shay. I haven't seen you. How's work going? I know you. How's being back in the office? Um, okay. Oh, the Be Happy Rainbow File. Yes, that was the other one I was forgetting. The one that we did with the little. Pat, you've been busy. She has. She you've made been, some great projects. You've been busy. Yes. Um, Charlie has Benny this weekend. Yes. Anyway, I'm not seeing any comments or questions that we need to go over. So I'm just going to kind of move on. Yeah. Um, also letting you guys know our craft month sale ends on Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yes. It ends on Thursday. How it's sad. The 31st, yes. So if you are not already a member of Oak and Lamb, click it. You can get $30 off your yearly membership using code craft 30. Craft 30. That ends on Thursday. Yes. Yeah. Um, We've had several join during this sale, so we that was have. really amazing. I had I said the first five to join would get a special um, gift from us. We're going to be shipping those out this week, so that's exciting. Yeah, um, I mean thirty dollars off is a great price. Yes, so. absolutely. We're so glad people have joined. Uh, work is work, pays the crafting bills. I know it's right. It's oh, like a, it's a catch twenty twenty. Catch twenty two. Thank you. You're welcome. Words are hard. Words are hard. True. I need to put that little graphic on the ATEM so that you can throw yes, it up all our lives. Click a button. <laughs> yeah. <but> oops. <laughs> okay. So what we are doing today, we'll talk about the supplies that you need for the the star of the show. I don't want to say star. Um, anyway, and that's acrylic. And we got these acrylic sheets from WAI Supplies. So for those of you who are laser crafters. Check that out if you haven't already. Um, this is masked on both sides, and Rachel has very nicely linked these for you all. The colors are meant to be in watermelon. Very beautiful. And then um, I'll show this one. You want to go to the overhead, and I'll show them these up close so they can see what we're working with. Absolutely. We made these for all of the O&L children. We have Fallon and Beckett, Granger, and then baby Charlie here has one. Um, so this is just acrylic on top of acrylic. And the reason that I love working with acrylic is that I don't have to paint it. So it just cuts out. I weed off the masking right here, pull it down here and then glue it together. Very, like very easy. Yes. Miss Tracy is here and Hi, she Tracy. said, I cannot believe it took me months to find you. I've spent all day yesterday catching up on all of your videos. I've missed you all. I'm so happy to be here. Tracy, we're happy You're you found so us. And it doesn't matter that it took that long. It just matters that you found us. Absolutely. We're just glad yeah. you're here now. And Miss Ariel wants to know, Becca, when is the Dolly collection coming on the side? It should have come up at 12 o'clock. Let me make sure. Hold on. It should be on there now. I didn't even look. We got to chatting about the upcoming projects. We're trying to schedule everything out for the next two or three weeks because baby Charlie's coming. Yes, let's go to let's go to my computer really quick. Um, so the new collection is live on the site. And if you just pull up cut follows right here and then scroll down, it's not an entire dolly collection. This is more of a member request kind of hodgepodge collection, which I actually, I think are my favorites because it gives it's you like a all, little bit of everything. It give, yeah, yeah. I get to, I get to grant a lot of your all's wishes there. Um, this was not a request. I just loved it. Eat glitter for breakfast and shine all day. Huh. Isn't it. it fun? Yeah. I feel Love like, it. I feel like Beth will have something with that in her glitter dome. Um, but then our guitar and cowboy hat, which I think is really cute. You can use it for a lot of different things. Um, and then we had requests for archery. So we did a, some archery ones, um, just a regular coffee. I thought this would be cute on a coffee canister or just a coffee cup. Um, wife, mom, and boss. That's a fun one. That would be cute for a sticker. Did I put it on my, no, I, I haven't put that one on my laptop. Oh, I'm shocked. I need to put that on my laptop. I am shocked. And then we have another words are hard, but I really liked this look a whole lot better. And so I've made a graphic for that to throw it in videos when we, when we bloop, which is a lot. Um, so I thought I would share it with you. It was really cute. Adorable. Well, you know, Becca needs it way more than I do. It's true. I, uh, yeah, you never mess up. I never mess up yeah. ever. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we have these little measuring cup labels, which we're doing a project. Rachel's doing a project on it this week. So that's 
really fun. Now I get to break out the hat press again, guys. Yeah, so you, don't, you definitely want to be there because the first one went over so well. It, it's sure to be entertaining. That, that is certain. Ugh. Then we have our female country music legends. I had to throw Dolly in there, of course. And it's so funny. Rachel asked, it wasn't on this one. It was the male one, right? Yes. How I came. And I said, these ladies will know who these people are. Yes. I was just wondering if like Becca Googled. No, I actually know. Like country music legends yes, no. for each no. gender and then like pick them based on the top ones or if it was personal preference Rachel these 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 women were part of my life. I know all those women yes I know yeah. all of those um so let's scroll over we have some more here we have the archery dad this is the one um Waylon was the one that I didn't know yeah Waylon Jennings yes. yeah George yes. Strait Willie Nelson Johnny Cash yeah. yeah Hank Williams um Bow and arrow here that goes along with archery, but you can use it for other things as well. Hey, batter, batter. Like, oh my God, it's so cute. Fallon's going to have to have a shirt with that. Super cute. Then we have the Raised on Dolly, which everyone is very excited about. I did tease you with it. And right next to it is my one of my personal favorites. Uh, poured myself a cup of ambition. I, I love that ambition is rainbow. Yes. I think it is. Yeah. It just adds. I love so that much. file. It's one of my favorites. And then we have the tea bag for our tea lovers, a bushel and a peg. I found a adorable tea towel at Hobby Lobby that says, I love you, a bushel and a peg and a hug around the neck. And it reminded me, my dad used to sing this song to me all the time. And I thought, oh, that is so cute. We need a little something on it. In fact, I hope he's not listening. I want him to write it, like hand write just that line. And I'll probably, I think I'm going to get it. Oh my it. gosh. You're going to get me right in the feels. Becca. I know. I You're going to hit me where it hurts with Dougie. So cute. And also, then, Sparkle Dumpster Chrissy's here. And she said, I would love when they said Jolene, but with like the red circle and the slash in the <laughs> middle of it. How that cute is, that, be? that has to happen. That would be I adorable. I love that, Chrissy. That would be adorable. And then we still, we have the archery target. And then this one is really cute. I had seen this uh, idea somewhere else. And I thought that would be really cute just for an archery kid. Um, Megan, Becca's not going to be happy about this. What did she say? Did she say? Apparently, Waylon is misspelled. Did I spell it wrong? She said it's Way Waylon with an O, not Waylon with an A. Megan, we're gonna double, we'll double check that. Ah, no big deal. I can fix it really no, quick. No, no, it's no big deal. Yeah. I mean, they just launched like an hour ago. Yeah, okay, no, I'm we'll glad, you really glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. Thank you, thank you. Um, and then we have the bow and arrows here. So if you're downloading that mail um, legend one, wait, let me fix it. I'll fix it as soon as the live is over. Yeah, really quick. Actually, you know what? I could show them how to do it right now. Show them how to do what? Fix the, no, I'm not going to get sidetracked. I'm not getting sidetracked. <laughs> she was worried about this live not being long enough. Now yeah. she's going to do some cup Anyway, editing. okay. There are, there are the files. Uh, if you want the files and you're a member, download them, except for that one until I fix it. Uh, if you want the files and you're not a member, click the link and become a member using that code CRAFT30. Okay. Oh, Becca, question from Beth. Let's hear it, Beth. I love Beth. Hello, Beth. She says, do you find the smell of the acrylic cutting with the Glowforge worrisome? Oh, it's terrible. I am i don't mind it as much as I mind the wood. It, I think the wood smell is much it stronger smells than the acrylic chemically, smell. though. Oh, uh, you got me there. It, yeah, no, I, yeah, I agree. Um, so let's start, since I have already cut the acrylic out, I want to chat just a second about this this is tiny little bitty pieces and i thought that this would take a really 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 long to cut out even with the glowforge but it was only six minutes it was like six and a half minutes and this is uh about almost six inches um but the first one you can see all these little pieces that happen to come out i took a weeding tool and pushed all these little extra pieces out it's like this is terrible i have a ton of them to do so i discovered that I could just lay it on a flat surface and pop it like this and the pieces would come out. It's, it's very satisfying as well. Look at all oh, those look pieces. At look at all that. And then I'm going to do it one more time because I think there's just a couple more in there. It's smarter, not harder, guys. Right? Honestly. It always baffles me that the Glowforge can even cut pieces that teeny tiny with Itty that bitty, laser. yeah. It's just nuts to me. Okay, so now they're all out, which is lovely. That was a whole lot quicker than the first time when I was poking each individual one out. Becca, tell me, what made you... 
try the smacking method. What, what, desperation. Desperation. Yeah. That's when the best craft hacks come out is in pure desperation. Yes. So now you can see this has the masking um, on the front and the back. I just grab a weeding tool. And the nice thing is, is that this weeds pretty easily. It's not like you would think, oh my gosh, that's so detailed. I'm going to have to spend a lot of time weeding, but it, it's, it is all connected. Um, so it really doesn't take that long. If I um, go too fast, that doesn't help, but it's not a big deal. Um, I'm trying to think about, I, I, I don't think, I think, <laughs> sorry, words are hard. I, th I think if I had cut this out of MDF or wood or something like that, then painting it would have not been my favorite. Is Chrissy? Chrissy is here. Yeah. Chrissy, did you paint yours or did you cut it out? Let me know how painting these little bitty pieces right here went. Was it an issue? If it wasn't an issue, did you use a brush or did you use a sponge? Um, or spray paint. Or spray, yeah. I, I, I do want to know how that went. It's yeah. Uh, that's why I love these lives where we can even ask you questions. It's not just about us asking questions no, or you all asking no. questions. You all teach us a lot yeah. often. So anyway, several members have done these out of different things. Um, before I could even test it, we had a member who cut it out of cardstock. And I, I was very grateful because with all of the intricate details, that was one thing I was concerned about. Will it be too difficult to cut out of cardstock? Will the machine sort of eat it? Um, what size did she use? And so I was able to kind of get an idea there. Um, I, it does take a little bit of time. I would say, Rach, would you say it took about 15 minutes to cut it out? Yeah, and of course, don't do it any smaller. Like you, no. You want it the bigger the better when working with your Cricut and all those little intricate cuts. Um, so you could do a couple of things with this file though. If you wanted to make it even bigger, you could make it bigger and then put welcome on the front and then have a cute, um, sign for your door. I personally love to layer things like this on a boxwood wreath. We have one on the studio door. Uh, right now it has, well, actually right now it has nothing because I had to glue it back together. Uh, but it did have our oak and lamb acorn on it, which I actually have right here. Super cute. Uh, but we could have done this and then layered it on the boxwood wreath and I, I just love doing stuff like that. Then you buy the boxwood wreath one time, which admittedly, if you get a good one is not cheap. So you don't want to have to replace it a lot and then just change out what's on the boxwood wreath. And Becca, both uh, Beth and Chrissy say they use a sponge to paint with. Okay. And you don't have any issues like down in, down in here. That's what, see, I get heavy handed. That's what I'm talking about. I get heavy handed when I paint. And so I would have like extra paint down in here. And Seems maybe like a not. You in, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not saying that's not correct. Okay. Well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's Juliet's name. We're making one for Juliet. Juliet is Rachel, Rachel's adorable little baby niece. Oh, she's the cutest. Let me pull this I dot out, and then the same thing. I'm just going to weed this really quickly, and I, it's just not actually weeding. Remove the masking. Diane says, oh, this is so confusing, Diane. I have found that weeding with a plastic razor blade that I bought from Amazon is a game changer. It doesn't scratch on your wood or acrylic. What? Oh. A plastic razor blade? We might have to buy one of those. Yeah, yeah, Becca. Beth says, you really have to make sure it's, there's a light layer on your sponge. You can't be heavy handed. Oh, that's frustrating, you know, Beth, because I like I like a one coat and done type of thing. Look at that. I cannot believe how much we differ about that. <sighs> I would rather make four light coats. Now, on a wall, I don't mind too, but if I'm doing something like this, ugh, I hate it. Now, on a wall, I'll pack that paint right on there. <laughs> that's so funny. I think that I think this would work on something bigger. However, this. It, this is kind of more delicate. You see how it has some boing to it, some bend. Some boing. Some boing. Uh, Rachel, what would you call it? I don't give, know. Some give? Some give. You know, I love to um, butcher that one word constantly. Malleable. Mal malleable. Well, now that you've said I really it, I can't even say it. Yeah. So that's probably the word I would choose, the one that I can't say, of course. 
Well, naturally. Why else would you? I don't know. Yeah. Why would you choose a, a different word? I don't know. I don't know. It's the only one that comes to mind. Boing, though. I think I'm going to put that in the, uh, put that on the roster. You can quote me on that one if okay. you want. Yeah. Some boing. Some boing in it. I love it. Some spring in her step. Um, Diane spray paints her wood projects. I do like to spray paint. However, it's been so windy here. I can't spray paint. And it cold. goes everywhere. Yeah. Also, you have to have a good spray paint. We've, we've used some cheaper brands of spray paint. Eh. Not work great. And well, or I think <laughs> of that one little project that we tried one day. Around Christmas, for whatever reason, there was a paint shortage around here. I don't know if it was everywhere or um I, we couldn't find red spray paint so where did we get that was it the dollars i don't even know i don't know it was some cheap paint and it was terrible, it was horrible. which reds are difficult anyway true they're thin we were also putting it on metal which <laughs> you know there was probably a couple of factors that went into why that went in the dumpster but all the things you shouldn't do of course we try yeah, yeah. okay so gluing acrylic to acrylic there are so many different ways you do this and if you are a member of like a Glowforge page or a laser page, then you you have seen so many different opinions on this. Um, a lot of people love the 3M sticky stuff. Um, I've seen a lot of recommendations for Gorilla Glue, recommendations for Gorilla Glue. Um, I just use, Rach, where did you get that cheap um, the super Dollar glue? The <laughs> When I tested these, I just used this glue from the Dollar Tree, but the opening on it is pretty big so i had to i had to take a popsicle stick or a craft stick whatever you want to call them and put it on there and then like lightly dab it so when i was at hobby lobby and saw the gorilla glue that has the precision tip on it i was like oh this is gonna this is gonna work beautifully hey becca that dollar tree glue really builds some character though for you it worked really well yeah. and it it yeah i'm just trying to tell them this would be easier oh 100 percent I also linked that exact glue down below so that you can get that. I did not link the Dollar Tree glue for you. I do apologize. Uh, Chrissy says, get a beauty blender to paint with Glowforge stuff. She said it's a game changer and it's reusable. Oh, because you can wash it. I'm yeah. very... I guess you could wash those. The sponges, yeah. They're just sponges. so cheap. We're like, eh, let's That's toss so it. Yeah, we get them in like packs of 100. Yeah, I could do a beauty blender. I need to go to Ulta anyway. Oh my God, don't get an Ulta Beauty Blender. Well, they have cheap ones at Ulta, don't they? They have Beauty Blenders at the Dollar Tree, too. Do they, they have cheap ones at Ulta? I don't know. I think my Beauty Blender was like $20, and I don't know what possessed me to get that one. No, I always get them at TJ Maxx. Why is this not opening? I always get them at TJ Maxx. Really? In like an 8 or 10 pack, because I'm really not that into makeup. Well. Okay, I probably okay. should have read some instructions. What a, right, I did this earlier. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm having deja vu. Hang on a second. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> uh, strong and fast point anti-clog cap. I just need to know how to open it. Cat said, dang it, y'all always make me buy something at least once a week. Sorry, Cat. It's like folding in on itself. Although this, this Becca struggling might make you not want this Gorilla Glue now. And then it won't, like, how am I supposed to squeeze this? This is ridiculous. The problem is Becca, oh. Becca won't read instructions. And Did you see that? No. No, I didn't. We got it. It's like the epoxy thing all over, except it was super I glue. was thinking that. Thank God it didn't go in my that. eyeball. At least you haven't ruined your whole outfit yet. It's true. There are no... Okay. Oh, gosh. To open, place the cap on neck and turn the cap and nozzle firmly clockwise until the white base of the cap is not visible and you're not able to turn it any further. Uh... It won't go on there though. We love to teach you guys how to craft, but we can't put, we can't open glue. It won't go on there. It's like it doesn't fit. Oh gosh. Do the sides are they supposed to like squeeze? Yeah, in and they push squeeze the glue in. out. Interesting. <coughs> oh no! Oh no! The fumey over it's there. It's getting me choked up. <laughs> Jenny said, "Could be a dud." <sighs> It's like it won't even thread. 
Dad gum it. I was really excited about this nozzle. I think it is a dud. It the threads are like pushed down in there. Oh no. You know what? We're gonna be using our dollar store glue today. <gasps> and it's fine. It what about E6000? I really wanted well, I haven't tried E6000. Oh. And I like how quickly this dries. Okay. We're gonna E6000 use this. is very gummy for a while. Ideally, this squeezes. So it just squeezes out, which is lovely. And then this is a precision tip, so we can really um, control where it's going. So this would have been perfect had I not gotten a dud. I hope a Gorilla Glue representative watches this and then sends us like a lifetime supply of Gorilla Glue oh. um, to regain our trust. Maybe we should send them a strongly worded email. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be using this today. Let me use this. Well, Kat, now you don't have to spend your money. Don't spend your money, Kat. Actually do, and then let me know. So I'm just going to put it right here on this guy because we don't need much. And aren't then you, Aren't I, you so glad I just picked that up from the dollar I really thing? am, honestly. It's been the best dollar $25 you've ever spent. Oh, I'm So I use the reverse tweezer so that I can hold it without getting junk all over me, which is nice. And then I'm just going to... Place a little bit. And when I'm putting an adhesive on things like this, even with MDF and wood glue and things, and I only put it like on the larger spots, I don't necessarily worry about the entire thing. Um, but that's just me. And put some right here. And Becca, Miss Christina came in late. She said, how can non-Glowforge users make this project? Yeah, I'm actually going to show you. Um, you can't you can't out of acrylic, but you can out of cardstock, and we're going to do that in just a second. I'm going to do cardstock with vinyl, and it will be adorable as well. Okay, so we got that. You could also, depending on which machine you have, you could also cut this out of craft board or chipboard or I haven't tried. I think I would be scared to do it out of the veneer. Mm, more, I was thinking more basswood just because it's oh, so yeah. small. I don't think the knife blade will do good with it. Oh, the knife blade would absolutely, no. I think it would just shred it. Okay, so while her little name dries, we're going to go over in design space because honestly, once this is dry, we just have to put ribbon on it and yeah. it's finished. It's Joe, you said, what about a toothpick? If you have a toothpick, I'm sure that would be great. We don't yes. have any of those. Don't here. have any toothpicks. Yeah, that works. It worked out fine. Yeah. Um. So we're going to jump over into. I'm really mad about this. I don't even want to know what I paid for this at Hobby Lobby. I bet it was expensive. It wasn't on the package that you threw away. Probably. You want me to dig it out again? Well. The one on Amazon that I linked for them was like four bucks. I'm going to amputate this later and see what happens. Amputate? Well, because this little thing needs to come off so that I can... Do I have any pliers? Oh, I do. This needs to come off so oh, that I can get Lord. down to the... Oh, Lord. Right here. Oh, see? You meant dissect. Yeah, sure. What okay. Is, what is... Because I can get down to this th threaded part right here now. Oh. Now look, I could have used this for our project. I oh, can... you amputated it. I amputated <laughs> it. <laughs> I just have to pop it back on now. Why does it not come? Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Now I don't have to send Gorilla Glue a bad email. I fixed it. Okay. Well, cross this averted, Kat, put it back in your car. Yes, Kat, you need you need this great glue I still haven't actually tried. Where we're, was this? For sure. It fell off the hook. The hook fell down. Okay. We'll just leave it for we'll right now. We'll look at that later. Yeah. Okay. So over, <laughs> over in design space, this is how my brain works. I really actually hate it because it makes getting things done, getting, it's hard. It's Bill really B hard. said, Becca Oaks, MD. Yeah, yeah. Am amputee expert. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> also known as not amputating. Not yet. Well, it's whatever. not even close. But Doesn't whatever. matter. Okay. In design space, I have this cut file pulled in exactly like it is. There's no manipulation needed. I just sized it up. 
to um, six inches. I think it came in at five and a half, so it was really close. Just sized it up here. Um, and then you click make it and you select your material setting. So I selected craft um, cardstock in the medium. I didn't put any extra pressure or anything like that. But before we do anything else, um, oh, I, this is going to be for you, I Rachel. Get one. Yeah. Of course, mine's out of paper. I'm kidding. Yeah, for I'm sure. Kidding. I don't want to waste my acrylic on you. No, 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 no. no. Um, so we're just going to size our word or saying or whatever we want right here on our little bunny so that everything is the same size. I've, like I said, I've already cut this part out because it took about 15 minutes, so I didn't want to waste your all's time, but I'm still going to show you. It's still on my Cricut. I haven't even unloaded it. But I'm going to delete that layer because I don't want to cut it. Now I'm going to click Make It. And Rach. Yes. Um, would you like a cardstock name or a vinyl name? I don't care. What's easier for you? Let's do vinyl because I really like vinyl. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna connect to our machine here. Uh, Becca. Yes. I'm putting you on the spot here. Okay. Would you ever? Con this is Miss Ariel's question. Would you ever consider adding just the lace pattern to the website? She said it would be so pretty to use with other shapes to slice it out. I have no idea how Becca made it or how hard that is to do. I just... I'm trying to think on how you could do that because part of the problem is that the shape that I use, it's hard to explain it to you. The shapes that I use to cut that out have to be like inverted. Like once you cut it out, you have to invert it. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Um, I'll look at it and see if, if I can do it the opposite. I don't mind. If I can, I don't mind at all, actually. Okay. Um, where is our vinyl setting? Premium vinyl removable mat is the setting that we're going to use. And then I'm going to, let's go ahead and unload this um, right here. And I'll show you all how well this one did. So we'll remove the cardstock by flipping over and removing the mat from the cardstock. And then we can put this in our scrap bin because there's plenty of that. Now, what you want to do here, this is not super, super frail. So I'm just going to remove it like this and just be careful about any peeling. Look at that. And then we have all these other little pieces. And unfortunately, I don't think smacking is really going to help this. So we would have to poke it out with our weeding tool. Kat said, if people are using cardstock, you can attach the name to the bunny with cardstock with a Zig glue pen. You absolutely could do that. Absolutely. My only beef with the Zig glue pen is that it dries so quick. That's my only beef. I feel like I'm rushing to spread glue on it and stick it down. Yeah. Uh, we've been using the Lynn Lilly for a lot of our paper projects. Especially 3D Houston paper needs. projects, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do like this. I, I don't I don't hate Zig for something no, like that. I don't either. For no. something like that, yeah. No. There's definitely projects where I would be screwed if I didn't have it. I'm just, uh, be easy with my bunny. She's resilient, Rachel. You're roughing my bunny. She's up. resilient. She does not deserve that. It's not a hundred percent effective. However, it's getting the job done a little bit. Rachel, tell them what you did. What did you do this weekend as your last weekend without a child? What did I do? I uh, I went and got a pedicure with my mom. Ooh, yes. Got a pedicure. Yes, that was nice. We went to lunch. We got to see my baby niece. She came into town from Maribel. So I got to squeeze on her. And then yesterday, I was like a couch potato all day. Oh, that's I my packed favorite. Charlie's diaper bag. Yeah, okay. Just super fun. But yeah, Becca had one heck of a weekend. You're not wrong. She had like five different things to do that all took several hours apiece. And most of them were outside in the yes. cold wind. Oh, it was so windy, so windy. There were uh, 
baseball practices and softball yeah, we had practices softball practice and, and baseball practice uh -huh. and an auction uh -huh. and a daddy daughter dance and we had a going away party and a birthday party and a wedding that i'd actually didn't make it to because baseball practice ran over um all kinds of really whew. okay did you all see oh right i made a massive mess it's okay <laughs> It's right next to your spilled paint or spilled. Uh, oh, oh, it's so funny. Yeah. That's character. Oh, it does. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now I'm adding the vinyl to the same mat. Anyway, when I, when I have those little bitty pieces like that, I, I like to just grab my scraper and scrape it off. I don't know what you all do, but it's totally okay to do that. Very efficient. Yes. I think. Um, now I'm going to load this and let it cut out and then we'll weed it and place it on Rachel's cute little tag, which like I said, this could be used. You could put this on a gift bag. Um, you could put it on the Easter basket. You can also, if you have a Easter lunch or Easter dinner and wanted to make place cards or uh, place settings, then you could put each person's name on it. That would be really cute. The camera's on you, by the way. Okay. Um, um, also, Christina said... What is the best wood to cut with the Maker? I'm new to the Maker family. I upgraded from an Explorer Air 2. So Cricut's um, wood, it, they have they have the basswood and the balsa, or both. Veneer is yeah. the easiest, but it's not a wood. Yeah. Um, do we have any? I don't even know if we have any. We have the veneer. I don't think we have any Cricut. But look up Cricut's um, basswood. That's what we've used in the past. It's not cheap, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's what I would start with just because I, I know that it works. And then you can kind of explore other options. There are cheaper options like off-brands um, basswoods and softer woods like basswood that you can yeah. cut with it. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions. Great. This It is technically my last week without a child. I'm getting induced on Sunday night, so that's that's on the, it's not a scheduled c-section it's just an induction um uh, and then becca when do you rest they want to know she'll rest when she's dead that's you know that's fine yeah 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 god love her no i mean i like it is exhausting but i know even in the middle of this i'm like man you know what i'm gonna i will miss being at the ball fields and being yes. uh you know doing doing the daddy daughter dances and getting her ready for all like I, it's i have literally wanted to do this my entire life mm -hmm. from the time i was a small child i knew you're living the dream i am like living the dream. being a mom is the only thing i've ever really 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 wanted in my life and you are absolutely exceptional at it as well. Well, I wouldn't say that, but that is very well, sweet. Well, I would. It is very sweet. Becca, Amy wants to know, is that a tape measure bracelet? <laughs> it is. How cute is it? It's so Becca. Yes. I'm going to make perfect. this a cut file, actually. She also, Becca, do you still want to get a tattoo of, of, a, of a ruler? I do. How uh, practical would that? I think that would be exceptionally practical. The problem is I don't know really where I want to put it. I'm running out of space. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, not that I have, like, sleeves or anything. I'm Maybe, like, right here or something. How I don't cute know. would that be? I'm, I have this tape right here, the transfer tape. And ordinarily, I would like the masking um, because it's not as sticky. But I want to be able to see where I'm putting it. So I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to just put it on my pants or something to kind of get some of the tack out of it because I don't want it to accidentally attach to part of this lacy part that may be more delicate and then um rip it how many times are you putting it on your pants i really i'm I mean, giving it a really good working i'm there. giving it a good rub right now <laughs> perfect that's just perfect it may oh. not even transfer now oh it's okay it's fine Trisha said, I hope we are all together when it's time for prom for Fallon. Oh, me too. Me too. I told Wayne, gorgeous. like, I, I kind of hated it. I mean, she's five, but there are glimpses, of course, if you have kids, you know this, where you're like, man, I know exactly what she's going to look like when she's older. And when she had her hair up and a little bit of lipstick on her, I was like, oh, this, like, I'm getting a glimpse of prom and her wedding day and all oh, that fun man. stuff. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Look how cute. I mean, the 
that's so simple, but it's so cute. And then if you wanted to, you could have done an offset with this bunny. In fact, let's do it really quick. We have time. Let me go back over into design space. Oh, okay. Here we go. Becca, honestly, you cracked me up. Never we're gonna, again, you should you say, oh, I don't know if this lob's going to be We're going to add enough. another layer. <laughs> we're going to do an offset. Because I think it would be really cute to add um, like a glitter layer behind it. Oh, now you're talking. Okay, so we'll delete these and now we're going to click make it again. Oh, wait, I didn't talk through any of that. I'm sorry. For those, of you, for those of you who may be new, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. To do the offset, it's super, super easy. You just click whichever layer or layers that you want to offset. You can't do this on an iOS device, FYI. You do need a desktop um, app or version of Design Space. Um, so you select the layer and then you come up to offset and then I liked the default, what it was at two point or 0.25 inches. So a quarter of an inch, you can make it a little bit smaller if you want to, you can make it bigger if you wanted to. Um, but I just liked the 0.25, so we'll leave it at that. And then you just press apply and you can change the background color if you want to, so that you can kind of get an idea what, what you're looking at. Um, but that's it. So I'm going to delete these layers because I don't need them. Click make it. And then we're going to do a little bit of a glitter card stock. So let me find my handy dandy well, now color. I'm glad Should we do that like I'm... green behind or what? I don't care. Blue. You're much better. Oh, blue would be cute. You're blue. much better at color matching than I am. Okay. I think it's in here. Now I'm glad I have the paper one because I get glitter. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's purple glitter. I think we have a blue glitter, but I don't know that it's, is that Eastery? I don't love that. Do you okay. love that? I don't care. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's much that, better. There it is. I love the small hue change and it goes from not Easter at all to screaming Easter. Wait, which one? The light one or the I darker like the one? one? Yeah, I think so too. Okay. What, do we know what brand this is? We got it from Hobby Lobby. It was in that pack okay. so it's not like chunky glitter because yeah. that doesn't cut fantastic all the time mm -hmm. um but it was in a pack that i've dismantled well, if it's an off-brand glitter i'm basically telling the people we normally give it the craft board setting um this is thinner though is, does it feel thinner yeah i'm gonna okay. just do uh, medium cardstock <gasps> and see what happens what yeah if it doesn't go well then oh she's a rebel then they'll know. This, I mean, this is this is pretty thin. If it's thin, that's fine. Yeah. Some of them are like shedding. They're so chunky. Yeah. You well, know? and then you have to change your blade after or clean it or. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Just turn my Cricut off. Sorry, friends. I wasn't paying attention. Let's see. Let's check this while we're turning it back on. Okay. I just have to reconnect to my Cricut. Tracy, she just bought her oldest uh, child a cricket for Christmas, and she's just started using it. That's amazing. Tracy, yes. That's so good. Sometimes it takes a little while for them to open it up, but once they do, it's... Allie, what was your first project on your cricket? I made all these Oh, she made her Cute. sister a shirt. Love it. Uh, it's not connecting. I'm so sorry. Should have paid more attention. Okay, there we go. Medium card stock. There we go. Is Debbie here? I haven't Debbie, seen our her. Our friend Debbie friend. I don't think I've seen her. Well, Beth posted an adorable little lammy in the private Facebook group this weekend, and it was a multicolored pom pom lammy. Gives me all the feels. It's the cutest thing ever. And I thought, Debbie is actually a really great felter. And I thought, next time she comes, if she wants to teach us some felting. Love it. If she wants to. I don't know how all that works. Like, if some smaller projects could be done on a live. I've never done any felting at all. But I'm very interested in learning. Um, so, basically, I'm asking her if she wants to do that in front of everyone. <laughs> I'm asking her in front of everyone. I know she doesn't mind to do it in front of everyone. Okay. Let's see if this cut out. It, it did. Yay. Uh, someone said, does this one shed glitter? No. Not I at all. I think it's like the good quality thin. I mean, it is thin, off. yeah. 
And did it come in a pack? Yes, it did it come did. in a pack, Miss Connie. <clears throat> I don't know what the name of it was, or I would I would help you. Uh, it was pay. probably Paper Studio. That's if I were guessing. Like it's thin. You saw how it curled even with me pulling it. It's adorable. Yeah, it's cute. Okay, so I am going to grab my zig pen, and this is going to be challenging because I've got to try to figure out where all to put it. Um, quickly. The adhesive from the mat is stuck to this. What? Isn't that weird? Look. I've never seen that before. Me either. It's interesting. Okay. Yeah, like I was saying, you have to figure out where you need to put well, it quicker. Quickly. I'm going to do ATG right here on the bigger part. Oh, smart, smart. And then, so then the zig's kind of like your around insurance yes. policy. Yeah. Yeah. Debbie was here earlier. Okay, Linda, thank you. Oh, Debbie's here. Hi, Debbie. You've been quiet. Debbie, you want to felt for us? Yeah, Debbie. <laughs> I put you on the spot. She made us some super stinking cute little gnomes oh, and then little so like gadget holders. Um, and uh, I was like, how did I not know you were a felter? It's so cute. Wait, this just this way. just stepped this up for mine's sure. The Took it way. up a notch. Everyone be jealous. Look at that. Now I have to hold it because it's wet. Look at those colors. It's adorable. It is really cute. Charlie's Easter basket came, basket came, Becca. Do you it love it? So cute. Yes. Did James like it? Do you think oh, yes. you're crazy? Yes. He was like, "Now, how much was that?" And I was like, "I don't. We don't talk money. We only here. buy it once. Money is is but an object yeah. when it's your firstborn child." So, Again, you only buy it once. That's right. Yes, I got it from Pottery Barn. No, no regrets. It's so cute. I mean, I haven't seen it, but if they look like my kids, they're so cute. Yes, yes. Becca said, and Becca, you're Becca. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa said, what glue is that? This one is the Zig uh, two-way two squeeze and roll. So you, you can get it with this fine point like this. You can also get it with this sort of foamy point. I mean, if I'm doing bigger things, I would use this one. But these small little bitty pieces right here, this is really nice uh, to be able to just really draw it on there like an ink pen. And I'm going to have to pop this up with my spatula because <laughs> for some reason it's stuck to that. It's so weird. Anyway, so two ways to use this file. Super fun. And then all I did for theirs is, and I'm out of the sort of lacy ribbon, um, but was just took a piece of ribbon. We'll cut it a little bit longer. And you can do a couple things. You could stick this in like this and do a lark's head knot. You can, that's probably what I'll do since this is thinner. Since this was thicker, I did um, just kind of like a, almost a square knot, but not really. And then the reason that you wanna do that and then leave the tail is so that you can tie this onto an Easter basket or Easter bag. So just like that, tie it on there, you're good to go. Are Adorable. there any questions about any of this? No. Let me know. No, because you, you taught know. them so well, they have no questions. Good, I'm very glad. Yeah, I wanna switch it to glad. you. Okay. Um, now you need to make these for Easter dinner, yes. Oh, Debbie, she's been listening up to the catalog. So sweet, thank you. Um, Debbie, if you did not hear and did not notice, I misspelled Waylon in the mail country legends file. So give me two seconds after live and I'll fix that one. Um, can you increase the size of the cute bunny? Absolutely. You can, you can make it as big as your cricket will allow you. So up to 11 and a half inches in width. Um, great idea. You need to put that on Rachel's hospital room door. I don't get to go to the hospital with Rachel. Um, however, I will go to her house. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're like waiting in your house, peeping out the window when you come yeah. in. The, my thing is it's an hour away. Yeah. Number well, one. Well, I, I, I personally appreciate the fact that they don't allow visitors. Yeah. Well, during yeah. during COVID, it's, yeah. it's very, very limited. There's like two at a, two at a time. Yes. So, and that, that includes my husband. Yes. So he will have to leave in order for two other people to come up and, and meet the baby. It's a whole thing. Also, here's the thing. Like, I... I Ho number one, also, hospitals are gross. Parking 
sucks there. And it's an hour away from everyone. You know, why would Becca want to hightail it up there when she can wait no, I would 24 do it, hours? But uh, I know that, that the, the, the time with the baby in the hospital is like, it's like a sacred time. So I would not want to, I wouldn't want to come and do that to you. Becca, um, you know you're my favorite. Yeah, I know, but uh, I wouldn't do that to you. You know you're more than welcome to. I would wanna. not do that to you. Anyway. You drag the kids. Put them in one coat. We'll can it's one kid. Act like they're one person. They're the size of one at all. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some ideas for some cute Easter-y things. Have you all started Easter crafting? I would say most of you were finished Easter crafting and moved on to like Mother's Day. And I love crafters. It's hysterical to me. All of the people who are not really crafters, but they go into Hobby Lobby and things like that. And they're like, why is the Halloween stuff out in May? And crafters are like, no, no, I want it out sooner. I want to be able to get this stuff. Because if you if you do um, like craft fairs or sell things, then you need to have it done prior, yeah. prior to. It's August when they start putting Christmas stuff out. It's no, I think it was like June or July this last time. Was it? I, it was early. I but remember I, walking in and seeing it like it. starting on like top shelves moving down. I'm like, oh my gosh. But at least, you know, they put it on a pretty good sale. They do. They yeah. Do. Up until Christmas time. I need teacher gift ideas soon. Jen, yeah, I need to be thinking about that too, honestly. Um, yeah, that's a great idea. Anyway, thank you all so much for being here with me today. I'm going to go, um, fix that cut file, teach Allie print and cut. Are you all so how excited? How fun is that going to be? Like, yeah. Those of you who've done print and cut, you know how exciting it is. Um, and then we'll see you here tomorrow at what time? What Not is to put tomorrow? you on the spot. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Thank you, Ellie. Yeah. Tomorrow's Tuesday. One o'clock. One o'clock. We'll be here at one o'clock, and I will see you. Uh, go download the cut files if you haven't already. See you later.